No, I wouldn't say that. Hmm? No, I. Um, uh, it took time, and um, but I think if I go back to the things that I thought about before, if you are, if you know your audience, okay, figure out who you're talking to. Um, if you just think about how you interact with your friends, okay, versus maybe just your, the, the people that you go to school with, versus how you may interact with your, you know, your parents' friends uh, or family. You know, you, you've already got a bunch of audiences in your life, mm -hmm. and it's unlikely that you're behaving the same way in front of all of those audiences, right? Mm -hmm. So that's like public speaking. You know, how you're going to behave in front of the audience is because how well you know them. Okay, so if you know your audience, going back to one of the things I talked about before, then you're going to be, the fear factor kind of goes down. If, if you have a good idea of, of what you're supposed to be talking about and you feel comfortable that you know enough stuff about it, whatever it is, and you've prepared yourself, then you'll be able to speak intelligently and that will help with the fear factor. And if you map out what your idea is, where you want to start, where you want to go, and the things that kind of fall in between, then if you get sidetracked or you have that brain dead moment, you can stop yourself for a second and get back. I started developing a comfort for speaking really after college. Um, I can remember some of my successes and failures while I was going to school. You know, some of them were you know, like fun things that I did, and boy, I really enjoyed it. And then other ones were, um, boy, that was just, you know, I got a lousy grade, you know, because I got graded. But then um, as I got into my professional life and I found myself having success, I found that I had to begin speaking to larger and larger audiences. And um, so as I did that, certainly the size of the audience being smaller was easier, but it, it took some time to where I got comfortable. But it also took me time to kind of figure out kind of my little process. Um, and I always tell um, a lot of our new employees, I said, you know, it takes three years probably, in my opinion, to learn most jobs well. Because the first year you're generally kind of struggling. The second year, wow, you really think you're, you've got it. And then you get an oh wow. And you realize you really weren't as smart as you thought. And then by the time you get to the end of the third year, you've had enough experience with what you're doing that now you're actually probably pretty good at it. And I would say that public speaking is somewhat the same. Mm -hmm. You know, taking a course like what you're offering is going to help. And it will accelerate that process, and so maybe it's not a three-year process for them. But there's still a certain amount of riding that bike and doing it, mm -hmm. and, um, and it'll, it, it will come. Mm -hmm. So, um, But I still get nervous oh. today mm -hmm. when I get ready to get in front of, of different kinds of audiences because mm -hmm. um, you just never know. Mm 